Hey everybody, Winstreak here. I got a question here from Ethenco. They are looking to uh, essentially select all of a same type of object with one click. And without further ado, we're just going to hop on here, make a sprite, and I will walk you through what I mean. Going to set the size a little smaller. And just fill this in. Good enough. And this will just be my plot of land. And we're going to give them an instance variable. Plot number. And they'll start out with zero. And I also want them to have an animation of full. And this will just be to show which ones um, are affected. So. We'll take this and we'll make it into multiple there's my first grouping my second grouping and my third grouping and these are all the same and we will just go in here and change the plot number on them so those are plot one and these will all be plot two and of course these ones are all plot zero because I didn't change them. Now we're going to add the mouse event so I can click them and essentially if I click this one I want all of them to fill. If I click this one I want all these to fill and the same for those guys. So over here <coughs> we are going to start out with a mouse click event and on object and plot and we are going to create a function and it will take one parameter and we're just going to name the parameter plot and then whenever we click this we'll call that function and we'll send over our plot dot plot number which will be that 0, 1, or 2 0, 1, or 2 here and we're just going to send that into the function and then from there we're just going to change the plots to their second animation just to show that they're affected and I believe that should be it oh we gotta oh we just gotta add the check to actually make sure we're only grabbing the ones that are plot 2 so we're blank sub event and plot variable is equal to plot and we'll move this down here that should do it here we go we can have one we can have two any order doesn't matter and that should fix it hopefully that helps and have a good one